Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. It is Saturday, May 28, 2011. Glad you're here. And you're going to be glad you're here because you're going to learn something really important today if you didn't already know it. We're in Matthew chapter 22, verse 34. Now, just before I read this, I need to point out we're in a passage of Scripture where all these different groups are sending representatives to Jesus to try to trip him up. And they don't. these groups don't agree on anything except the fact that they need to stop Jesus. So they're trying to trap him, trying to prove he's not who he says he is. So the Sadducees have done, done it, the Herodians have done it, the Pharisees have done it, and none of them have had success. And so now the Pharisees are going to try again. And, we're, and they, they were the worst. They were the religious, prideful leaders, and they were always after Jesus to try to trip him up. We're in verse 34. But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. All right, well, the Pharisees are going to go at it again, and they send their lawyer, and this would be a little you know, Perry Mason style, you know, really good at interrogating and asking questions. I'm sure they picked their best guy. And he goes there, you know, and he's already, all right, Jesus, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, uh, which one of all of those commandments uh, <laughs> uh, do you think the number one, you know? And I don't know what he was expecting out of Jesus. Now, I would say those guys would probably say the Sabbath based on how upset they got over anybody violating it. Um, but anyway, and honestly, if I was were Jesus, I'd probably do what he did most of the time is not really directly answer that question. Maybe come at them with a different question or tweak it somehow. But this is one of the few times Jesus actually directly answers the question. The guy asks him a question, what's the greatest? He gives him an answer. And his answer, very simple. He gave two, he gave number one and then he also threw in number two for bonus. He said the number one commandment, love God. But really love God. Love him with everything. Love him with your heart, your soul, your mind. And I'm not sure how you differentiate between all that. I don't know what a soul looks like, and I don't know what a mind looks like, or the heart, you know, it's not obviously not the, the physical heart. So he's just saying love God with everything. Everything you got. He's number one. He takes priority. And then, right behind it, number two, love everybody else. Love the people that are hard to love. Love the people that are easy to love. Love your family. Love your exes. Love your enemies. Love everybody. Love God and love everybody else. And love them the same way you love yourself. Put others first. So there's God and then there's everybody else. Now, if you think about it, it's a perfect answer because any other command you get falls into those categories. Take the Sabbath, which was their big one. Well, that's part of honoring God. You set aside a day and you devote yourself to Him in worship and praise and meditation. And we sort of do that with our Sundays nowadays. Uh, some groups still do it on Saturday. But it doesn't matter if you pick a day. That's the idea. To devote yourself to God. It's not the day that's so important. It's the God. See? That's where people get a lot of hang-ups. Once you get those two down, the specifics are not nearly as important. They are important, but the, the main thing is you love God and love your neighbor. All right? The Great Commission, a, a New Testament command. Very important. But it falls under loving your neighbor, see, because you want your neighbors to know the Lord. So it's not more important than these other things. It falls under those other things. So while it is important to study God's Word and know it, and that's why I teach it, very important, more important is that you know the God of this word. Now you're not going to know him as well, and that you love the God of this well, and you're not of this word, you're not going to know him or love him as much if you don't study the word. And I'm big on studying the word. You know that. Obviously, I teach it every day. But more important than 
then knowing all the commands, and you should try to learn them, is to obey God and love God and love your neighbors. And you can fill in the details later. If you just think about, will this benefit my neighbor or not? Or will this praise and honor God or not? It'll solve everything else. All right, that makes sense. It was a perfect answer and it's still true today. So today, love God and love your neighbors, especially those who are the hardest to love. It's what Jesus did. It's what we need to do. Okay, come back tomorrow for the next edition of Take 5.